get tired of having uncooked kernels when you make popcorn? The secret is to just take a minute and relax. Hi, I'm Julie. Welcome to Hungry for Science. Making popcorn on the stove is super easy, but sometimes you get stuck with a bunch of uncooked kernels at the bottom of the pot. Today I'm going to show you a trick so that every last kernel gets popped. Now, popcorn expands about 25 times in volume from kernel to popped corn, so you want to make sure you have a pot that's at least 25 times bigger than the amount of kernels that you start with. I have about two tablespoons of popcorn kernels here. That's going to pop up to about three cups of popcorn. So this pan's going to be just fine. I'm going to coat the bottom with oil and bring it to medium heat. And I'm actually going to start by just adding two kernels. I'm going to add the two kernels in and I'm going to wait until those two kernels pop. Now I have a pot with a clear lid so I can look at it but you can also just wait until you hear the two pops. It'll take a couple of minutes to get hot enough for that to happen. My second kernel just popped. I'm going to turn off the heat, remove my two kernels, and now here's the trick. I'm going to pour the rest of my kernels into the pot, make sure they're coated with oil, but I'm not going to put it back on the heat right away. I'm going to wait about one minute. And waiting this amount of time actually helps distribute the heat more evenly across the kernels. Now the oil was just to the temperature necessary to pop the popcorn, but when I added all the kernels in, the, the temperature lowers a little bit and the kernels are getting warmed up. They're not going to get warmed up hot enough to pop, but they're going to evenly kind of warm up together. And when we put the popcorn back on the heat, then they'll start to pop. So I'm going to wait out the rest of my minute. My minute's up. I'm ready to put my pot back on the heat and I'm going to actually leave the lid slightly open so that steam can escape. Now I'm going to heat it up until all of the kernels pop. And I know that's happened when it's been 10 seconds since the very last pop. So I'm going to hear all the popping and then as it slows down, then I'm going to start to count. It's been 10 seconds since my last pop. Let's see how we did. I'll pour out my popcorn into this bowl. And sure enough, every last kernel popped. By preheating the kernels in oil that's just below the popping temperature, you get them all close enough so that they'll pop together in a narrow range of times. Normally when you put everything in a pot and throw it on the heat, there are some early ones that get heated and pop and then some cold ones that take a long time and maybe they end up as uncooked kernels. So just by relaxing one minute, you can maximize your pop and be ready to chow on some popcorn.